Hi, I'm Sally Ward and I'm the Head of English here at Sidford School. For English Literature A-Level, um, we ask students to come, first of all, with a real confident level of reading ability, most importantly, but also when it comes to GCSEs, we're ideally look looking for a student who's got at least a grade five in English language and in English literature. But of course, we look at everybody based on their own merit. So um, if you come and you love literature, you love reading, you're excited about reading, that's one of the main prerequisites for coming onto the course. We also look for students that are interested in um, reading around literature, maybe you have an interest in history, maybe you're interested in psychology as well. Um, we are also looking for students who are really keen to engage in discussion and academic debate. One of the main parts of English literature is being able to discuss, articulate and move forward with a, with a discussion, with an argument and that really comes from the discussion that we have in the classroom. So you have to come being prepared and ready with your reading already done, whether that's poetry, the prose or the plays that we study in the course, but also you have to come ready with your ideas and ready to share. And those are the main things that we're looking for in an English literature student. So at this school we offer AQA Specification B Literature course, which is a very exciting course because it offers us an opportunity to be really dynamic and also offers an opportunity to look at genre study. So in year 12, we look at tragedy, we look at some Shakespeare, we look at some modern texts, American texts, we look at some Victorian texts. In year 13, we go on to look at crime fiction. And in crime fiction, we're studying some very traditional crime texts such as Agatha Christie, but we're also looking at some post 21st century texts as well. As the last 20% part of our course, we do an NEA. So at the end of year 12, leading into year 13, we ask our students to prepare two essays. One could be creative writing and a conventional essay, or they could both be conventional essays. And they have to be based on some reading of your choice. So Lit B offers you the opportunity to really extend your reading and really delve into something that you're already interested in. Um, whether that be some really modern fiction or whether that be something more classic and traditional like Jane Austen. We ask our students to come um, with our ideas but also we teach our students to develop an argument and to really express a point of view.